So, hello everybody. Driven by Moss 13.7 is out and it brings a lot of goodies, especially for the Reaper version of it. So, what can you do now? Yeah, it's all about the browser somehow and adding drags and adding devices, which was not really working so far in the Reaper version because Reaper does not have such a nice controllable browser as Bitwig has, but now I came up with a workaround. So first let's start with creating a track and I want to show it here with a launch pad, but this works with all the devices I support, which support browsing, which is most of them basically. And so far it was only usable with mainly with the push because it has a nice display, but the other ones without the display, you were acting blind. So let's first create a track. I create here a MIDI track and there's also a new feature with that. If you look at that at the recording options, you will see that the newly created track is now correctly set to record MIDI before that it was simply set to audio and it selects here the all channels and also activates MIDI overdub or replace what you normally want to have for recording. So the only thing left to do is to record, enable it and it is ready to play. But we also need to add a device to that. Let's go here to the browser and what you will see now is you get a full blown head up display browser and you can navigate that as well here from your device. You can say you want to see your favorites here for example in the folder and this also filters nicely the results you get here in this last column and this browser can also be navigated with the mouse if you prefer that but it's now also really fast and nice to use uh, here Oh, wrong button. Can also be nicely here navigated with the device. So for example, let's pick here something to play. You can also say, I only want to see my VSTi devices and let's go with good old FM8. Press the green button to accept this. And now we, let's get rid of that one here. You can now play the device uh, straight away. So much faster workflow. So let's add another device to that. So let's again go to the browser and then we need to go down to have adding a device again. For example, now let's go with an equalizer. So what you also see here, categories are now shorter because I integrated the JS plugins, which you see here. The JS plugins are quite a lot of so those Reaper specific script things. They are now integrated here into the categories, which makes this list much shorter and easier to navigate. So now you can quickly say, I want to have all my equalizers here, whatever it is. And let's go with, let's take the Reaper equalizer as an example. Also confirm it and we have now loaded those two ins. So let's open the window. So you see we have added these uh, two plugins and what you also see Reaper has this specific preset. So you cannot access the presets that might come with your device, but you can create your own and the stock plugins of Reaper also have some presets and these presets can also be selected with the browser. What you need to do uh, to access this, you need to uh, access the second plugin. So I selected now here the equalizer plugin from the launch pad and then you can open the presets and it always takes a little bit to load the presets and then you can also navigate the presets here of the plugin. For example, let's go with that one. And if you open the device, window, you see that it has selected here this preset from the preset list. What I also like to mention, if we add here another device, let's go for the devices. You see that now the AU plugins are gone here on Windows. They were before that in there, but no AU exists on Windows. So I remove that as well. And it's now also only shown on Mac OS and also not on Linux anymore. Another thing that is device related, if if you just duplicate the track, you will see we have here two plugins and what now is also working 
if you switch between the tracks, it will keep the currently selected plugin. So for example, if you want to tweak all the equalizers on your track and you switch now between the tracks, it will still be focused on the second device. Yeah, that's it for what's new, especially for the Reaper people. Uh, and I think the especially this head up browser makes a lot of sense and helps you a lot in selecting and adding devices and enjoy it and make some funky music.